the cow said moo and the hen said plonk. Hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Oh, hello everyone. Hi are you? Hello then. What you got there then? Well, it's a book, isn't it? Oh, yeah. what sort of book? It's one of them special World Book Day books. Oh. Yeah. Have you heard of World Book Day? What do you know about that? Bit. What, what do you know about it? Nothing. Nothing? No. Well, I'll tell you then. It's a special day when children, children get given this one pound voucher oh. and with that voucher they can buy a book. There's several books, but one of them is the what the ladybird heard story play. Oh, that's that's got us in it, hasn't yeah, it? That's got us in it. Yeah, then do we do we get do we get some money from this? No, or do we, we get a pound? Get, we, don't, we don't get the money, but we're in the story. Oh. It's that story about you know when we tried to steal that cow. Remember? Oh, I do remember that. Didn't go very well, did it? No, it didn't that ladybird. Yeah, that ladybird played a trick yeah. on us. Yeah. Still. Still. Good story. Good story. Yeah. Oh, should we get Julia to read it to us? Who's Julia? Uh, she's the person who wrote the story. Oh, then. yeah. Uh, I'm sure you knew you all the time. I'm Julia. And um, this is Malcolm. We were dressing up as Lanky Len and Hefty Hugh, the two baddies in the story. So the World Book Day book is the What the Ladybird Heard story play. But I'm going to tell you the original story, the story of what the ladybird heard. Because World Book Day is all about sharing stories. So I'll share this story with you. And then after that, the illustrator Lydia Monks will share some of her drawing with you. Once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen, a woolly sheep, a hairy hog, a handsome horse, and a dainty dog, a cat that meowed, and a cat that purred, a fine prize cow, and a ladybird. And the cow said moo, and the hen said cluck, hiss said the goose, and quack said the duck, nay said the horse, oink said the hog, ba said the sheep, and woof said the dog. One cat meowed while the other one purred. But the ladybird said never a word. But the ladybird saw and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is how we're going to steal the fine prize cow. Open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, pass the hog, be careful not to wake the dog. Left pass the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the little spotty ladybird, who never before had said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right round the duck pond, pass the hog, being careful not to wake the dog, left past the sheep, then straight ahead and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the cow said moo and the hen said cluck, hiss said the goose and quack said the duck. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Bah, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And both the cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered it into each animal ear. Dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept, and tiptoe into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, Nay! with all her might, and Len said, That's the horse, turn right. 
And the dainty dog began to quack. The duck, said Hugh. We're right on track. Oink, said the cat. There goes the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Ba ba ba, said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said moo moo moo. Just two more steps to go, said Hugh. And they both stepped into the duck pond. Splosh! And the farmer woke and said, Golly gosh! And he called the cops and they came, Nina! And they threw the thieves in their panda car. Then the cow said moo and the hen said cluck. Hiss, said the goose, and quack, said the dog. Nay, said the horse. Oink, said the hog. Ba, said the sheep. Woof, said the dog. And the farmer cheered. Hooray! And both cats purred. But the ladybird said never a word. Did you like that story, Sugar Lump? <laughs> I thought so. And do you know, if you go on the World Book Day website, there's lots of ideas for ways you can share stories. Oh. We're dressed up now as two other characters from another book that I've written and Lydia has illustrated called uh, Sugar Lump and the Unicorn, uh, because it's just fun dressing up for World Book Day. But we're not going to tell you that story. Instead, I'm going to hand you over to Lydia and she's going to do some drawing for you. Hello, it's Lydia Monks here, uh, talking to you from my studio, which is very snowy today. It's very snowy outside. Um, happy World Book Day. It's very exciting, isn't it? Uh, we're going to draw Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len today, if that's all right. Um, we're going to draw them falling into the pond. Do you remember in the story, they fall into the pond? So I'm going to draw them doing that. So I'm going to start with the pond. So let's draw a big pond. Now we're going to put some things in the pond. So I'm going to make it really, really big, much bigger than it is in the story, because we're going to put some special, exciting things in the pond. So Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len are making their way to the pond. Let's draw Lanky Len over here. I've got a bit more space over this side. So he's, his face is that shape. It's very long and thin. He's got his mask on. Now, because I've got a thick pen, I'm going, just going to draw his eyes as dots. Because otherwise it will be a bit blurry. Now, looking, we'll have him looking a bit surprised. Now, it's meant to be dark when they fall into the pond, so we'll have to draw the moon and things in a minute. This is Jumper. I'll draw his hand. Can you see? Right now, he's going to be stepping in. He's got his wellies on, but his wellies won't be enough to keep him dry, I don't think. There we are, wellies. So he's going that way. Now, I'm going to do them coming from different directions. I know in the book they come from the same direction, but um, we'll just go for it, I think. So this is Hefty Hugh over this side. Here's his hat, like that. Now I'm going to draw his eyes as round. He's going to be looking that way. That's his nose. Maybe doing a bit cross looking. And he's looking like that too. So they're both sort of looking the other way. They're not looking where they're going in the dark. I'll draw him his jumper and his hand. He's going to be a bit folded. Right, so his leg is coming that way. So look, he's about to step in as well. They're not looking where they're going. So this is the pond. Now I thought we could do some special things in the pond, things aren't, that aren't normally in your usual garden pond. Um, let's see, I thought maybe we do something normal to start with. We could draw, how about we draw a little duck? 
can't remember what the duck says in the story, you have to remind me. There's the duck on the pond. But, should we draw some other things? How about this could be waiting for them in the pond? What could that be? What's, what is it? Can you tell? It's a big crocodile. So he's thinking, oh, he looks tasty. Big crocodile in the pond. And over here, I thought we could draw. What could this be? Something else that's quite pointy. What's this going to be? Can you tell? It's a very hungry looking shark. So we could draw some water lilies <laughs> in the golden pond and some, re some kind of reeds and bulrushes maybe. Should we draw some more over here? Should we draw a little, couple of little fish? I don't know how they'd get on with a crocodile. Have you got a crocodile in the garden pond? I don't think I have. Poor old Lanky Len and Hefty here have really been unlucky this time with this pond. So there they are, about to fall into the pond. Now it's night time, so should we draw the moon? Should we give the moon a face? And some stars? There they go, about to fall in. There we go. See how you get on. See what animals you could think of to live in the pond. Okay, have fun. See you soon. Bye. Thank you, Lydia. I'm feeling giddier and giddier. That's the singing mermaid singing her thanks to Lydia. I think that's enough singing uh, for now, mermaid. Oh, no, no, that, that, that was lovely singing. Um, Julia, is there any chance that mermaid might come back to my circus? No, Sam Sly. Oh. Malcolm's dressed up now as Sam Sly, the wicked circus owner from another book by Lydia and me, the singing mermaid. No, she's not going back to your circus. And she's just going to wave goodbye to everyone, actually, because I think we've finished dressing up for World Book Day today. And um, that's the end of the programme, except that there is another one next week. And that's going to be this story, The Ugly Five. And Axel Scheffler will be doing some drawing for you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>